We want to thank you for joining our service today. No doubt you've been blessed and no doubt the Holy Spirit of God has been stirring you. I could say this to you, my friend, that God loves you and he has a wonderful plan for your life. Here is the very foundation of the Christian faith. We are talking about a relationship with God. God made man and man was made in his image and in his likeness. And when he made man, uh, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, you probably heard of that, they chose to go their own way and to sin and violate what God had said. When they did that, they died spiritually and were separated from God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Man does not sin because it's just a behavior that he chooses. Because Adam sinned and now spiritual death came upon all men, now we are all born in sin and that's why we've all sinned. But the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but then it goes on to say, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. What happened was man was dead and separated from God because of sin. But God so loved man that he sent his own son, Jesus, who lived on this earth. He died on a cross bearing all of your sin, all of my sin, the sins of the whole world. He paid the price for us so that now simply if we receive him into our heart through faith we can be born again born from above the old nature is passed away and now everything becomes new the bible says this the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ our lord it, it goes on to say in romans but god commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He died in our place. So now the Bible's very clear that if you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So friend, I want to give you an opportunity today to do that. There is a website showing on your screen. Going there will take you to a prayer where you can pray to God to receive Jesus into your heart. And once you've made that decision to receive Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior, we would love to know about it. We would love to help you get started in your walk with the Lord. We could help you get planted in a church somewhere close to you or we'd welcome you in here if you're close enough. We'd love to get some materials in your hand so that you could begin your new walk with him. Well, have a blessed day. We'll hope to see you soon in a next service, but we know God will richly bless your life as you give your life to him.